Hey guys, I'm Russell, the Weekend Adventurer. It is nasty, it's raining, and it's a perfect opportunity to show you my new poncho tent. Let's set it up. Having a poncho on the trail is a really nice thing. They're convenient, they keep your pack dry, which is a big deal. And they don't cost very much. This is a military issue poncho uh, that you can check out on my website and I got a couple links to uh, buy one. But they're anywhere, they're about 20 bucks. They're a really nice deal for something that's gonna keep you dry, waterproof, and serve as your tent. The poncho tent can be set up a lot of different ways. The first way that I'm gonna show you is actually with poles. It actually makes a little dome tent. While you're making your tent, have your ground cloth with you and just throw it over your backpack so your stuff doesn't get wet. You can make the poles for your tent, uh, your tarp tent, out of anything. I mean, if you have some old poles laying around from a destroyed tent, that works fine. Or uh, if you want to order some, I have a place online on my website, russellweekendadventurer.com, uh, where you can order them, and I tell you how many sections it is. Uh, mine, I think, is six sections long, and uh, they're really light poles. My entire tent together weighs 1.3 pounds. That's, you know, that's not bad for getting something that's actually comfortable in the rain. The trick to making it fit in the end of your tent is these guys right here. They uh, are just electrical wing nuts that I've drilled a hole through and they go uh, through the grommets on the tent. That's what makes it stand up. Turn your tarp upside down, cross your poles in the middle of the tarp and use the strings from the hood to actually tie the poles where they cross. Once you've done that, you can insert the wing nuts into the grommets on the edges. Very quickly, your tent should take form. That's it right there. Now, you want to have your hood over to the side so that whatever rain hits it just rolls right off. And voila, we got our tarp tent. I could actually tie the center uh, string a little bit tighter so that it's more toward the middle, but it, it really doesn't matter that much. Now, all I'm gonna do from here is put down my ground cloth, lay down my sleeping bag, and I'm set for the night. One tip on the tarp tent, don't put it anywhere you think you're going to get stepped on. Don't, don't put it anywhere near a trail or anything, because when it comes down, it's pretty camouflaged, and in dusk or early morning, people will step on you. Let's say it's a nasty, rainy, no miles day. No problem at all. You take the tarp tent, tie it to a tree, all four corners, by the way, come with ropes on it. You can replace the ropes with something a little lighter. I didn't yet, um, but it's nice to have the ropes on the edges. You can do a lot of things with them. Put your backpack and gear under your tarp tent, and you can cook in a nice, open, dry atmosphere, almost like you have your own carry-with lean-to. It's really... Uh, a neat way to commune with nature while staying out of the rain. Well that's pretty much it for the tarp tent with poles. 
Now let's set it up without poles. You're going to be losing about uh, a little more than half a pound and uh, it's not as easy a setup but it might be worth the weight gain to you so I'm going to show you how to do it. This next setup is going to take a couple minutes. So as with before, take your backpack, put it underneath your ground cloth. Uh, by the way, my ground cloth is a really simple, um, you know when you go to a, a lumber yard and they've got the coverings over the wood, the waterproof coverings, that's what this is. They throw that stuff out. I asked the uh, local lumber yard if they could uh, give me what they're going to throw out and uh, they gladly, they gladly gave it to me. I laid out my sleeping bag on top with some scissors. I went around the edges, cut it just for my size. That's what I came out with. It's uh, pretty waterproof, pretty durable, but you can't beat the price, that's for sure. Now, I've modified mine a little bit. I found that in shelters that are short, and uh, especially you know, if I'm in a, uh, a tarp type situation, a lot of times I'm not paying attention to my feet. My feet will get wet. What I did is I put some grommets in the edges of my sheet and tied it together so that there's a little pocket for my feet to go into in the sleeping bag. Um, that way if there's any splash or a little bit of rain that comes in and hits it, it's not a big deal. I don't get soaked. It's, it's just a little added thing. You don't have to do this. Uh, it's just kind of a neat thing that I thought of and it might help you. The last way I'm going to show you how to set this guy up is on two trees leaning forward just one big sloping uh, canopy almost and uh, it's not that hard I think it's a little bit more waterproof than the diagonal let's see This isn't that bad a setup. I might try to find a uh, stick or something uh, for the center to prop up the hood. Uh, just put a, a stick right up in the center. Um, but really, honestly, it's not that bad and you'd probably stay dry. Let me go find a stick for the center and see how that works. It's not that bad. There's the stick. There's the stick right behind me. You know what? This really isn't bad. I like this way a lot. If you didn't have poles with you, I think this would be a good way to set it up. It looks pretty waterproof. That's it for this weekend adventure. Stay warm, stay dry. I'll see you next time.